hello everyone welcome to our channel easy explanation in this video tutorial we will be learning about the concept of function overloading in c++ so what is function overloading so function overloading is a feature of c++ that helps us to define multiple functions with same name but different arguments or parameter by using the concept of function overloading in a program we can define multiple function with same name but with different parameters so by using the concept of function overloading you can achieve the con you can achieve the concept of polymorphism in your code so function overloading helps us to achieve concept of polymorphism in your program now if you are, if i'm defining multiple function with the same name then how our compiler is going to distinguish all these functions so since all the functions are going to perform different operations how are our compiler going to distinguish between multiple overloaded function so the question can be like how compiler distinguish multiple overloaded functions so the answer is based on its argument so completely based on its argument so the first point is based on number of arguments another is based on order of arguments and another can be based on data types of parameter or arguments so based on three criteria our compiler is going to distinguish between multiple overloaded function and in this way we can achieve multiple functionality or we can achieve multiple types of operation we can perform multiple types of operation within a program by using the concept of function overloading the question uh, the, now the question can we can we overload the function based on in return type so the answer is like the question can we can we overload the function based on its return type the answer is no the answer is big no we cannot overload the function based on its return type because return type is not alone sufficient to distinguish between multiple function or multiple overloaded functions so we cannot overload the function based on its return type so these are the theoretical concept related to function overloading now let us understand this concept by using writing a program so i write like create a function uh, file called the test underscore overload dot cpp has include io stream using namespace std now let us write a function the first function is int add int a comma int b now let us say it returns a plus B. I am writing a function called as a main function here. Write every time write this return zero. Now let us call this add function within the main function. So see out add of ten comma twenty and then. Uh, so g plus plus test underscore overload and dot slash a dot out 
we got the output as a 30. Now let's define another function with the same name like int add according to definition of function overloading means function overloading means we can define multiple function with same name but different arguments just first define another function called as add with same name and same argument what will be the output our program will compile or not so let us understand this first return a plus b now i will compile this program you can see redefinition of function add over here you cannot define exactly same function so we have a two function add and add with same name and same number of argument and the name of the argument is also same so our compiler got confused over here which uh, which function to use so it is throwing the error like redefinition of add now in order to distinguish those two functions what we can do is we can change the number of argument over here so we have two function another is add with two arguments int a and b another is another function called add add with three arguments int a int b and int c now this become the concept of function overloading function with the same name but different number of arguments different orders of arguments so you can see now a plus b plus c so we can achieve multiple operation or multiple functionality within the program by using the function overloading concept now if i'll compile this code it will not throw any error so this is the concept of function overloading now if i'll call this function c out add 10 20 30 we'll get two different sets of output you can see for the first uh, line number 10 we got the output as a 30 and for the second we got the output as a 60 so our compiler distinguishes these two different function by based on its number of argument passed so when the line number 10 is executed the control transfer to this function int add int a and b with two argument and when the second line is executed the control passes to the function that is defined at line number six which is int a int b and int c this is the concept of function overloading now let us say if i'm defining another function called as a add with float a and float b although it has two arguments similar to this first add function it will not throw any error means the data types are different over here so we can distinguish or you can overload the function based on the data type or the number of argument so if i'll write c out add 10.50 20 20.50 sorry let us make it as a float data type now since return type of the second is float so you can see we got the output as a 31 so you can overload the function based on number of argument passed or number of parameter passed so the compiler can distinguish based on the number of number of parameter passed it is also based on the data type of the arguments or data type of the parameter in this way you can overload the function means function overloading is a concept by which you can define a function with same name but different arguments different arguments different number of arguments and different data types of arguments so this is all about the function overloading concept in c so if you have any query regarding this please let us know in the comment section thank you so much like after this theory session let us discuss some of the multiple choice question related to concept called as a function overloading so you can see function overloading is a feature in c that allow you to define multiple functions with the same name but different parameters or argument type and why use function overloading so by using the concept of function overloading you can achieve code readability so code readability can be improved code reusability can be improved means you can use the same code again and again and obviously you can have flexibility means we can have same name function the same name and different arguments so you do not need to remember the another function 
and we have the multiple function means same name can be worked for multiple scenario means we can use the same function like in our case we can use the same add function to add two integer three integer as well as floating point values so to overload a function successfully we can have you need to follow this rule function name should be same you can have different parameter list and the return type is not single or not uh, sufficient to distinguish the overloaded function so we have discussed that also in our code now after that let us discuss the multiple qu choice question related to function overloading which of the following best described function overloading in c plus plus the answer is a defining multiple function with the same name but different parameters we have discussed that what is required to overload a function in c plus plus like different types obviously true different number of parameters is also true different sequence of parameters is also true so all of the above is the correct answer here which of the following is not a valid way to overload a function so changing the access specifier of a function like changing return type changing access specifier changing the name of parameter changing the order of parameter so the answer is b changing the access specifier of a function is not a valid way to overload a function so the valid way to overload is change the parameter type order of parameter data type of parameters can return type be alone to uh, can we can return type alone be used to differentiate between overloaded function in C++? Obviously, the answer is big no. Which of the following is true about function overloading in C++? So, the answer is D. Overloaded function must have different parameter types or different number of parameters. So, the next question is, what is the term used to describe function that is called automatically when an object is created? I think this is from another topic. So, so the answer is constructor. Can constructor be overloaded in C++? Yes. Now, which of the following is an example of function overloading? Int add int ab, int add float ab, int add int abc, all of the above. Obviously, the correct answer is all of the above. So, this is all about the function overloading concept in C++ programming language. If you have any question or query related to any C++ concept or this function overloading concept, please let us know. Thank you so much everyone. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you so much.